Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In today's video, we will talk about solving quadratic equations by completing the square. Last time, we have uploaded the video wherein we talked about solving quadratic equations by factoring. So without further ado, let's do this topic. This method, completing the square, is one of the methods on how to solve quadratic equations. We have solving quadratic equations by factoring. We have extracting the square roots completing the square and using the quadratic formula. This time, we will solve x squared plus 12x plus 32 is equal to 0 by completing the square. So how do we do that? As you can see, this equation is already in standard form. But to perform CTS, what we need to do is to transpose this constant to the other side of the equation. So what will happen is that it will become x squared plus 12x, and then it will disappear here is equal to negative 32. Now, as you can see, nag-leave ako ng blank dito for us to put here plus blank and plus blank. Our target right now is to create a perfect square trinomial on the left side of the equation. So what do you think is the number? So what do you think is the number that must be placed here for us to create a perfect square trinomial? Now, to do that, let's get this coefficient of the linear term, which is 12, divide this by 2, and the answer is 6. Then after that, square the number. Let's do a recap. Get the coefficient of the linear term, divide this by 2, the answer is 6, raised to 2, that is equal to 36. So we will add 36 here, and also here, 36. Now, right now, guys, this part of the equation is a perfect square trinomial. So in this case, we can express this one as the square of binomial. And it looks like this one, x plus 6 raised to the second power. So if you will expand this one, it will give you x squared plus 12x plus 36. Sir, how did you get that? Get the square of this, that is x. Get the square of this, 6. And since this one is positive, Put a positive here. And here, simplify natin to, we have negative 32 plus 36. That would be 4. And here, we can, we can perform extracting the square roots. Get a square root. Get a square root of this, but put a positive and negative here. In this case, we can cancel this out. Cancel this out. What we have now is simply x plus 6 is equal to the square root of 4, which is positive and negative 2. And in this case, we can now solve for the value of x. We will transpose this one to the other side. It will become this one. x is equal to positive negative 2, and then it will become minus 6. And as you can see, we have here positive and negative, meaning we can solve for the value of x sub 1 by getting the positive 2 which is 2, then copy minus 6, then x sub 1 is equal to negative 4. This is now the first value of x in the given equation. What about the other one? We will solve for the x sub 2. Since we are done copying the po or using the positive 2, we will use the negative 2 and copy minus 6. And as you can see, your x sub 2 is simply negative this is now the second value of the given quadratic equation. So as simple as that, our target here is to transpose first and then make a perfect square trinomial. Then after that, extract the square roots and solve for the value of x. Now let's move on with our next example wherein this one is also a quadratic equation that must be solved in completing the square. But this time, we have this coefficient, which is 2. Unlike kanina, our coefficient is simply 1 dito meron tayong 2. So what are we going to do for this kind of equation? As you can see, the coefficients are all divisible by 2, meaning we can divide this first by 2, divide this by 2, divide this by 2, for us to have a simple or more simple equation. So this will be canceled out. It will become x squared here negative 8x divided by 2, it will become negative 
4x this one is plus 3 is equal to 0 since this one is already in standard form we will remove this constant and put it on the other side of the equation it will become x squared minus 4x and then as my routine I will put here last blank then equal to negative 3 plus blank okay now how can we get again the value of here that we need to make a perfect square trinomial get this one which is negative 4 and then divide it by 2 this is negative 2 and then square the quotient negative 2 square is positive 4 plus 4 now again after completing the square this is a perfect square trinomial we need to express this as a square of binomial again recap tayo how can we get this one get the square root which is x you can copy the symbol here the, the operation minus and get a square root of this square root of 4 is 2 so this one is equivalent to the quantity of x minus 2 raised to the second power and here negative 3 plus 4 that is positive 1 and as you can see dito na tayo sa part na pwede na tayong mag extracting the square roots positive negative this will become cancelled out cancelled out we have x minus 2 and here the square root of 1 is positive negative 1 so since we've reached this kind of solution we will transpose this to the other side we have x is equal to positive negative 1 from negative plus 2 okay now we can adjust this paper for us to have a room for our solution in this case we will solve for the value of x of 1 which is positive 1 and copy plus 2 your x of 1 is equal to 3 this is now the first value of 2x squared minus 8x plus 6 is equal to 0 next we will solve for x sub 2 our x sub 2 is negative 1 plus 2 so as you can see x sub 2 is simply 1 this is the second value of x in the given equation that's it guys so now guys i hope you learned something from this video and syempre as part of our routine we have number three i want you to solve this equation using completing the square we have x squared minus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0 so that's it guys i hope you learned something from this video and if you're new to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads again it's me teacher gone maraming maraming salamat and bye bye